Make sure the top is clean. You'll see this is painted green. I do that every couple of months just to keep the rust from happening on it. When it starts pitting through and it's getting close now, I'll strip it off and give it a fresh paint job. But the goal is to have as clean a surface as possible. And just making sure the back of the uh, disc is clean and free of any little pieces of wire brush or anything that would be contaminant. Surface is clean, the back of the diamond is clean. Center it on there and we should be good to go. I'm gonna be grinding the surface that I just cut on the diamond saw. Start the machine. This is the surface from the diamond saw. All scratched, reasonably straight, but I've got a chip where it came out at the end, all these scratches, I'm gonna make that perfectly smooth. Darken the surface. You don't have to hit every spot, but you want to be able to see where you've ground and where you have not. As I'm grinding, I will be able to see that dark surface. As I come down on it, you can see where it's being ground away and where it's not. Center to edge, using the whole surface. Yeah, we got a little more right there to do. See, I've still got more right there. Even though you can't see it, there is ground glass still on the plate, even though water is coming and it's washing over. I tend to give an extra splash of water just to make sure that it will be as clean as possible. This is a medium fine. This is a 140 grit disc. Also very well used. Now as you go successively finer, you will need less and less water. So as I prepare to grind here, you'll see that all the scratches are going in this direction with this curve because this side was towards the center. To be sure that I get all the previous scratches out, I'm going to rotate the piece so the scratches now, instead of being like this, will be going this way. While I'm grinding, as long as I see any scratches going in this direction, I'll know I've not gone past them and on enough. Third step, 270 grit. And again, if you're doing very small objects, you do not need that 140 step. Water flow, enough to get the whole pad wet. And then down to a constant drip. Again, with the grit, changing direction. So last time this was towards the center, so now I'll have it away from the edge. diamond smoothing pad. This is a new one. Be very aggressive, very quick. When the smoothing pads are new, they're very aggressive, they do a fine job, but they're a bit too aggressive to really polish nicely from. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use a new one. 
then I'll go to one of my older ones that will smooth it out, kind of be a really nice pre-polish. Now this is the worn, worn out one. So it'll give a finer finish after using the brand new one. And again, I'm going to change direction so I'm sure that I'm getting adequate coverage and grind. Actually, for an older one, I'm gonna use a little less water. Okay, again, this small amount of water is good when it's an old and worn out disc. See the surfaces between a new smoothing pad and a used smoothing pad. When you're done with this wheel, it's very important to rinse it off because any ground glass that will remain on the wheel will dry and form a crust that will basically cover the diamonds and make it less effective. This is our LP66 material. You want a little more water. This is the dry pad. It takes a while to absorb the water. Once I'm sure it's adequately wet, I'll cut back on the water a little. There's still a stream of water. Shake up my cerium. I'll just put a little in the center. It's gonna look like most of it washes away, but enough of it does stay around. My piece of glass is well rinsed, and I'm gonna be changing position while I'm doing the polishing. Going like this, sometimes sideways. With all the grinding steps, I was very sensitive to having the grinding always go in one direction. But with polishing, you want it going multi-directional. You'll end up with a much better polish in the long run. Turn the piece in my hand. And again, in some cases, if your piece is stable enough, you can just go all the way around. That will always keep it going in different directions. Going near the edge, near the center. And I've already learned that the polishing step almost takes as long as all the other grinding steps added together. All right, now having finished my polishing, I'm going to prep the pad for being put away. Turn the water off and the power off. And while it slows down, I will add a little cerium to it. Some of it will wash away, but it will leave a coating of cerium on the wheel. The cerium, when it dries on there, will soak in and saturate and basically set it up for the next day's work. 